It's time now for the Peter Channel 5 o'clock news on a Saturday evening, April 9th, 2016. Good evening, everybody. I am Peter Wiggins. I am 5 o'clock news on the Saturday evening. And our top three at five is Brussels, where the man can find suspects in London State of Texas in person. Brussels is now dead in custody after Belgian investigators charged two men on Saturday with 18 last month's Brussels suicide bombers. The government's pre sentencing report in the Dennis Hastert hush money case for the first time outlines the sexual abuse allegations against a former House Speaker that contains many new details about the investigation. Senator Bernie Sanders at a rally in Lower Meade, Wyoming on Tuesday, as Bernie Sanders wins Wyoming's Diamond Record of Caucuses. Although the former President Bill Clinton says he should have been drowned in the back of his work still had a very sorry, not sorry quality. The message went on the shoulder in rural Pacific Island. Pacific Ocean on them, where the three men were worse earlier this week have been stranded for three days. Justice Sonia Sotomayor said that the Supreme Court needs more diversity than the publicly churn to be about the felony vacancy in the High Court. U.S. defense officials said Saturday that they have no reliable information to confirm North Korea latest boast that has successfully tested a new long range rocket engine capable of targeting the American with nuclear strikes. He assembled a small bomb left on the side of the road in Central Assembly exploded late Saturday, slightly wounded three people in Turkey State when the news agency reported. Kabul Secretary of State John F. Pierce on Saturday urged Afghan dispatriced leaders to cooperate and to demonstrate that donor nations in the day are capable of managing military and financial aid. Dublin British Prime Minister David Cameron considered on Saturday that he had bungled it as a acknowledgement of his investment in the North Shore Fund, a controversy that drove thousands of on the London streets of the Nassim and Panama law firm. In Ankara, Turkey, U.S. citizens in Turkey have warned of credible threats to public squares and of tourists that raise it around Istanbul and Antalya. Finding date, Macronesia, three men were rescued from a remote Pacific Island after United States Coast Guard noticed a distress sign made from pub and farms. London, U.K. Prime Minister David Cameron Abadza published a text with turns up his rescue in an offshore fund set up by his father were late. Brussels, Belgium and 40 days of Nevada, six suspects detained in part of an ongoing investigation of recent attacks in Brussels and Paris. Cairo, Saudi Arabia and Egypt will soon be connected by a bridge over the University of Saudi Arabia and killing some on Benel Mazzini said. Catalonia, Esco and El Salvador, upward is rated El Salvador officers of Panama based Mossack Finance, the law firm in the center of the pop in my papers late. In San Antonio, the U.S. Air Force has confirmed the names of the two airmen shot and killed in a pair of murder suicide in trip based San Antonio, Lackland, and Friday. Spokane, Washington, the captured man finding a hiding under the green in the woods after he had escaped from a psychiatric hospital where he was held because he was found two million years of face struggling to kill a woman that comes from a Manhattan scrutiny. A former Vanderbilt football player has been found guilty of raping an uncountable student in the dorm. It took less than three hours to trade a an man and three women find Corey Beatty guilty of aggravated rape, two counts said. Any Texas high school student was arrested on Friday after a video of her hidden a student was posted on social media. Mary Hayson, a teacher at Ozan High School near Beaumont, was charged with assault. WFAA reported. Washington. Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump is finally not reached on Washington State supporters confused an internal email list with one for Washington, D.C. Mobile Alabama, Dutch shipping company DSC, was fined two and a half million in the U.S. federal court for operating crude oil taken without the proper environmental safeguard. Colorado Springs, Texas Senator the Tech Cruz Bears Rab, Mount Manuel, Republican presidential frontrunner Donald Trump in his bid to win the delegates at the Colorado GOP convention. Chariel, Mexico women. Suspect of treason and slain in the apartment that Dallas Sanders or Tina and her ex boyfriend was arrested by a court in Mexico on Friday.
European Union regulators are looking to enforce corporate tax avoidance via offshore havens into the open with the first proposal to directly make a merger by the Panama Papers revelation. Robert Anderson, a longtime advocate for limited taxation in Massachusetts, died fighting for a long battle with leukemia. Boston, water systems serving more than 264,000 Massachusetts residents have been tested and several succeed the federal lead standard at least once during the past three years. Washington, Wells Fargo agreed to pay $1.2 billion settlement to the United States government for failing to disclose faulty loans in the AQD. Boston, off 40 days, a New York man has pleaded guilty to a world and bogus lottery scheme. Cape Canaveral, Florida. SpaceX resuming the station deliveries for NASA and Friday, and in a double Trump success under the booster rocket in an ocean platform for the first time. Innovative new substances, including metal form, can be used in a bulletproof armor and space shaped heat shield. Capillary expanded and under sent signals in the NASA and the emergency mode. NASA scientists are hurrying to find creative ways to fix the telescope that they have successfully done before. The State Department of Environmental Protection has issued a board of water advisory for four buildings on the Wellesley College campus, including the Child Care Center, if the college was finally in a portion of the school's water system. The first uterus transplant done in the United States has failed two months after it was performed due to eventual yeast infection, according to the statement released by the, by the Cleveland Clinic. Marco Rubio, during press conference Friday, has supported the Republican Senator Marco Rubio, Rubio broke his ranks with his party and expresses support for spending than $1.9 billion to address the Zika virus issue. However, he stressed that taxpayer money and must only be spent. Peter Jones on 506 p.m. on this Saturday evening, and it is time to have a sports report. The Boston Bruins. Regular season comes to a disappointing end at the Garden as they fall to the Ottawa Senators 6-1. Okay, other scores on an NHL. It is bit of a Flyers at the Pittsburgh Parks. Penguins title 1-1 to one piece with 420 left to second period ends. Here is the scenario. If the Philadelphia Flyers win, Boston is out. But if they fill up again, get either 0 or 1 point in the final two games, then the Bruins will be in. And the New York Rangers over to Detroit Red Wings, 3-2. And MLS soccer scores. At halftime, it's New England Revolution leading to FC Toronto, one to nothing. And 45th minute, it is Montreal. And Columbus screws 0-0 tie. Major League Baseball scores. And Boston Red Sox beat that tie. Round Blue Jays, 8-4. Since I read to the Pittsburgh Parks, 5-1. New York Yankees are the Detroit Red Tigers, 8-4. And Chicago White Sox for the Cleveland Indians, 7-3. And we won it in San Francisco Giants, Los Angeles Dodgers. No score. And the Boston Celtics. Square up against the Atlanta Hawks. Game time, 7.30 p.m. Down in Atlanta. Jordan Speed uses a good band to keep McCoy away through three runs at the Masters Open in Augusta, Georgia. Square the West manager Dave Robert is always Boston's upstairs and made the decision to call the set. A hard one on pitch limit on Dodgers. Rocky. My name is Russ Stripling was made of the best of intentions. Peter Challenger Times at 508 on this Saturday evening, and it is 7 and a half a travel report. Mm -hmm. Baby, let's study off out in Rhode Island, where it's looking good tonight with the Maui's of the Ocean State. On the Cape, Route 6 and Twain's looking good from Route 6 from Summit Orleans. Twain's looking from Borden Fountain with Borden Seven Bridges are looking good. Route 3 and a half months out of it's sold from Derby Street and Hingmall Street up to Route 228 in Rockland. Route stopping to us on both ends of it's a little sold from 3 and Quincy all the way out to the, the Mass Park and Route 3 and a half Route 7 is first with a stop on side, so for the Quincy stretch. Branch 3 splits a little sold on the northbound side, 93 and the northbound side, a little sold from the Pike all the way out to the Zaken Bridge, Mass Park, westbound side, a little sold before the Route 93. 93 in the southbound side, so from Medford all the way to the Zakin Bridge, through an accident on 93 in the southbound in Somerville, 93 in the northbound side, it is sold from Medford all the way up to Medford. 128 in the northbound side, it's sold from Route 3 in Wilmington all the way up to Route 93 in Redden. We got an accident on 93 in the northbound side after Route 16 in Medford, so expect some delays. Route 495 in the northbound side, a couple of accidents ran Route 2 in Littleton, so expect some delays. Highways and byways of Worcester, Massachusetts are looking good. 91 in the step on side, a little smaller, 291 in Springfield, 91 in the mass pattern, accident, nope, 
Just a little slowdown. Two ninety one in Springfield. <laughs> Highways and byways of Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine are looking good, except on I eighty nine and the stop sign. A little slow after the Canadian border. Down in New York City, starting off in Manhattan, where it is on the West Side Highway. It's slow for the Hell's Kitchen stretch around High Line, around Midtown Manhattan. FDR Drive on both ends. It is slow from First Avenue all the way up to Harlem River Drive. Queensbury Bridge on both ends is slow, as same as the Queens and Midtown Tunnel. Lincoln Tunnel on both ends is slow. Holland Tunnel on the westbound side is a little slow from 90 all the way up to Jersey City. 95 on both ends of the George Washington Bridge is a little slow, and 95 slow on both ends from Park Chester all the way up to Washington Heights. 295 on both ends is a little slow before the Frog's Neck Bridge, and Frog's Neck Bridge on the stopbound side is a little slow. Cross Island Parkway is slow from Bayside all the way up to Whitestone. 678 it is slow from Flushing all the way up to GFK Airport, Long Island Express, and both ends of the slow from Queens County all the way up to Route 278. 278 on both ends of the slow from Williamsburg all the way up to Long Island City. 278 on the both ends of the slow from Brooklyn all the way up to Sunset Park. Brands of Nervous Bridge on both ends of the slow. Belt Parkway is slow on both ends from Valley Stream all the way out to Howard Beach and then hit breaks again and then bounce out of all the way at the Flat Bridge Avenue in Brooklyn. And Grand Central Parkway it is slow from Forest Hills all the way at the LaGuardia Airport. New Jersey Turnback Lincoln from Newark all the way at the Delaware. And the Garden State Parkway is a little slow on the Ocean City stretch on the step on the eastbound, step on the northbound sides of the Garden State Parkway. 195 on the eastbound side, we get an accident in New Jersey just around. North end of the trip just around. North end of the trip, so expect some delays. Out in Pennsylvania, the Pennsylvania Terminal is moving from Philadelphia to Pittsburgh. IA is moving from New York all the way up to Cleveland. And New York State Freeway is moving from New York all the way up to Erie. And all the highways and byways in New York State are looking good. And I. Okay, look at MBTA alerts at 5, 12. Still on SL4, SL5 experience with minor ladies and traffic. Commuter rail. It is looking good. And on the ferries, they are looking good. Peter Chell do time is now 5, 12 on this. Saturday evening, and it is time to have a weather report, and take a look at the radar situation, and it shows a lot of rain showers stretching from Nantucket, stretching all the way down from South Western Island, from Charleston, down to Wesley, and coming to much of Connecticut from New London, all the way up to Stanford, and stretching up I-91 from Springfield down to Amherst, and we're seeing some sleet and snow showers west of Greenfield. We'll zoom you in on it. And we're seeing some spotty rain showers around North Brookfield and West Brookfield around east of Bondsville. And there you see the line of snow showers from Searsville, Searsville and Goshen, and down to Ashfield, and down to Watson, and down to Holly, and down to Plainfield, and down to West Chesterfield. And we're seeing a patchy snow sleet flurries around Winchester, Connecticut, and west of Torrington, and north of Goshen. And we're seeing some snow and sleet from New Canaan, Searsville, and Wilton, and down to Whitfield, and down to Hopewell, and Searsville, and Winchester, Connecticut. And zoom you out, and it shows the rain is stretching all the way down to New Jersey, down to East of Delaware, and seeing some snow showers from Vineland stretching and down to Atlantic City, stretching and stuff. And seeing some snow from Philadelphia stretching and down to Vineland, stretching in Ocean City and Atlantic City, and stretching in Bonnegat, New Jersey, and seeing some rain showers around Dover, Delaware, and Seen some snow shots around Westminster, Maryland, and seen some snow shots east of Hagerstown, stretching down to Chambersburg, and stretching up to Huntington, Altoona, State College, and Lock Haven, Pennsylvania. And also, it is snowing around the Pittsburgh area, and seen some snow around Wilkesburg and Scranton area. And it's raining around the Elderberry and around the Baltimore and Washington, D.C. metropolitan areas around the Annapolis area. So, I'm expecting some rain tonight with some snow. Okay, seven day forecast. It goes like first. Hazardous weather outlook. Day one tonight, hazardous weather not expected time. Day two to seven, Sunday from Friday to Low probably for the wind deadlines on Monday across the Southeast Coast Plain as well as Chepney Islands. Okay, tonight it's gonna look like this. 
Slight chance of rain before 8 p.m. Then a slight chance of snow between 8 p.m. and 1 a.m. Most clouds go about 27 degrees. Not for about 8 to 10 miles. Chance of rain 20 percent. By Sunday, slight chance of Sunday. Sunday it's got about 47 degrees and what's about 7 miles an hour. Sunday night, most clouds go about 35 degrees and suffer about 3 to 5 miles an hour. For Monday, slight chance of rain after 9 a.m. Most clouds got about 35 degrees and suffer about 7 to 16 miles an hour. Good size 37 miles an hour. Chance of rain 20 percent. Monday night, a chance of rain may after 3 a.m. Clouds got low about 30 degrees and chest rain 30 percent. For Tuesday, shadow may after 9 a.m. Higher 58 degrees and chest rain 9 percent. So that shadows like May before 11 p.m. Most clouds go about 38 degrees and chest rain 6 percent. Wednesday, most of the park clouds go about 52 about 35 degrees. Thursday, Sunday, most clouds go about 53 low about 36 degrees. Friday, Sunday, park clouds go about 34 about 38 degrees. And for Saturday, most clouds go about 53 degrees. Currently, and not near, it is. Most of the 44, humidity 49%. That is going to be it for Peter Channel. 5 o'clock, this is April 9th, 2016, on a Saturday. People are going to be on a good evening. Goodbye, Mr. John. 3 at 11 o'clock for the late hour. Good evening.